All right, Jeff Will coming to you live again. And as I use this technology that I've set up, I've learned a couple of things. One is that if I try to shove this forward, I run into the base of the lamp. So what I've done is I've taken two theses. This is Alan B. Craig. Um, this is his PhD thesis. And then I found a worthless thesis. And it says sensor fusion for field robot localization um, by some chowder head. Well, that's not in focus. So we're going to use these as a lifting device. And so now we can zoom in closer. And then if I want to move forward, nothing hits that, uh, that page. Okay. And again, and you'd be surprised what kind of a contraption I've got here. I got this thing and I got a lamp over here and then I can't move it much more. Um, so anyway, uh, all right, enough of that. So that's the technology. Here's another example similar to what you might have on your exam. And it would take too long for me to um, do every single line on here. So I'm just going to pick a few lines to, just like I did for the exam. Let's say what's going on here. Let's say what's going on here and here. How about what's coming through here. Okay, that line. And then um, how about what is the data memory's address here. Um, what ultimately comes through right here. And um, I didn't tell you what the address of any of these were stored at in this particular one. Uh, reminder, these are up on DataVU, no, Blackboard, uh, for you to take a look at. Um, so, and then, um, let's do the, let's see, let's do, uh, that's the control lines. And we'll do something like this. And this. So we'll try to talk about some extra things, but let's get these out of the way first. All right. So for the lines in here, set less than. Well, remember that for set less than, the destination is 10, and that's either going to be a 0 or a 1. What we're going to do is we're going to read 20 on A, read 8 on B. So this is going to be 20 and this is going to be 8. Okay, hopefully you can see that. 20 and 8 and I always like to remind you that these are 5-bit signals. Okay, what comes out? Well, we assume that we have 20,000 and we have 8,000 in here. So they're not equal and eventually the value 10 will uh, contain a zero, 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 zero. Okay, and let's see. All right, and then for the, this guy up here. Okay, now this is going to be the right back, but it's going to be the right back for OR. Okay, now there's actually two signals coming out of here. Uh, the right back is going to have to have, this is actually a two-bit signal, Okay, so there's going to be a mem to reg, mem to reg, and there'll also be a reg write. Okay, so it's a two bit signal, we don't know which is which. Here's our one bit signal. Now, when we get to the mem to reg, for whatever reason, Hennessy and Patterson always put the MUX labels upside down. So, since this is an R type, mem to reg is going to be a zero, and reg write is going to be a one. Okay, hopefully you can see that. So mem to reg, there we go. So that's for that line. We have to realize it's a two bit line, and then we have to follow it out and say, well, there's going to be two things controlling it here. All right, that's a little too close for the focus to want to handle. All right, ooh, we have ourselves a little hazard here. Who's the tricky one? Well, let's see if the forward unit 
has to fire. So we've got values here. We're reading 8 and 2 in the OR. Now are we writing to 8 or 2 over here? Oh my gosh, heaven help us. And you all know what this means. We don't want to use on the B register the default. You don't want to use this. We are going to want to have the write back phase put through so the forwarding unit is actually going to fire here. We don't have to look at all this. We just have to know that we don't want the two that we read from the register. Bad. Bad. So we would have read two from the register, but it would have been stale. So we want this answer here, two, which is on this line. This is the real two. Okay. And we just want to make sure that this puppy goes through. Okay? So, that's what the, and this is end, gonna end up, I didn't ask you this, but zero, 01 is gonna end up there. And let's see what else we got. Okay, so that goes through, and we need the real value of 2. Set less than 10, 19. Well, 10 is indeed less than 19, so this value here is going to be a 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, because 10,000 is less than 19,000, okay? And let's just assume that they always read 10,000, 19,000. Let's not worry about anything that might have changed in this, but since it's the last instruction, we would know that it would have read 10,000 and 19,000, because that's the oldest instruction. So, um, 10 is less than 19, so this is going to be our value. So, our value here is going to be all zeros and then one. This is supposed to be an ellipsis. I don't know if you can see that. In any case, it's going to be 31 zeros and then a one. That's what's there. So, what ends up happening here with the OR, well, we're going to OR, let me bring this back up, we're going to OR the 2, now the 2 is 0, 0, 0, 1, okay, and then this is going to be 8,000, okay, so if we OR 1 with 8,000, well, we could write all this out, and remember, this is a 32-bit number, so it's actually 8,000. All it's going to do, this is going to break into a 0, 0, 0. We're going to have a 1, so we're going to have, um, coming out here, 8,001, okay? And that's in, ha uh, that's in decimal, okay? We know that the last four digits are going to be 0000, zero, zero, zero because 8,000 base 10. Oops. Okay, so this is not, that's not, des, uh, that's not hexadecimal because we had 8,000. So, let's, let's forget about this. So it's 8,000 base 10, but it's going to have a 0, 0 in the last two places, ORed with 1, so we're going to get one more than 8,000. So it's 8,001 divided by 10. Oh, I didn't even ask you about that. There, I'm going to put it on there as if I did ask you. All right. So now remember that this line here is the address, okay? But it also goes down there too. This is the address in data memory. Well, we're going to store a word. That means we're going to write a word to um, an address. We're going to write the contents of 10 into the address given by 14 plus 8. So this is going to be 14,008. Boy, is that... I'm going to write it again. My... Okay, 14,008, and that's going to be in base 10, because when we look, remember, 
14 contained 14,000 base 10. Okay, so the address here is just going to be whatever is in 14, 14,000, plus 8, and that's going to be the deal. All right, now on this line here that we have chosen, we've chosen this line, well, it's going to be the answer that goes back into 2. Well, we already kind of determined that. It's going to be this. So it's going to be 1, base 10, or it's going to be 0x, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 in hexadecimal. It's going to be 31 zeros and a 1 because 10 is indeed less than 19. All right. Well, let's see if we got any other low-hanging fruit. Um, right here, this guy, this would be the 6-bit op for set less than. We would look that up on our sheet. And then if we wanted to know this value here, okay, what we would have to do is we would have to break out the OR instruction into its 32-bit equivalent. So there's going to be 32 bits here, and we'd put through the op r d r, r s r t r d shamped and funked okay and i know that's hard to read let me try to get it in there so r s r t well we know this is going to be six zeros for the op code and then RS is going to be 22 in binary, 5-bit. RT is going to be 20 in 5-bit binary. 1 is going to be for the RD field. Champ is going to be 0. Funked, we're going to have to look that up for the OR code. So, this is a representative of us going through one of the exam-like problems.